All right, guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to the terminal. So if you click this button in the top left, this allows you to search your computer for programs. And if you click TER or type it in, then it's going to pop up and just click this right here. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the terminal. This is your new home. And just so you don't have to type, you know, go into here and type TER and find the terminal every time, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click it and hit lock to launcher. So then whenever we close out of it, we can just click it again and boom, there you go. So like I said, this is your new home. This terminal is pretty much a command prompt which gives you complete control over your entire operating system. So from here we can navigate around our computer, we can create files, we can read files, we can create new directories, a whole bunch of stuff. And if you're thinking, you know what, why am I using this thing when I can just use, you know, like I've always used with Windows, just, you know, open up some program, a text editor or something, typing it with my keyboard and mouse, why do I need this weird old school looking terminal or shell window, whatever you want to call it? Well, the reason you need to be familiar with this is because let's say that you're um, some kind of systems administrator and you have servers all around the world, maybe one in Montana, maybe one over in China. Well, you just can't fly over there and sit at, you know, a computer and pop up windows and start, you know, typing in all your commands to manage that server. You need to connect to it remotely through your own computer wherever you are. So whenever you connect to it, you don't have this interface that you're looking at right here you have something that looks like this and from here you can remotely access that server and run all of your commands also let's say that you're making some kind of cool new robotic well if you just have a little you know handheld robot you obviously just can't you know like shove a monitor into the back of it somewhere and expect to see this interface right here Instead what you do is you plug in or you access it, you know, maybe through a little USB port and you got a terminal where you can type in all the commands, manage all the files and everything like that. And the most important reason we want to use this is because it looks cool and it looks like we're a hacker. So that's actually not the most important reason, but you know, it is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do just so this is, I don't know, a little bit more comfortable is, and this is just my personal preference, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to right click here and hit profile, profile preferences. Now you see how, here let me show you guys, you see how this little cursor right now is like a block? Well, growing up, I never used this block, I always had like a little I-beam, so I'm just going to switch this to I-beam, hold on, my Alexa, stop. All right. I got that um, Amazon Echo. It's like this voice activated thingy from, I don't know. That I just set a timer because I'm making pizza. And it's pretty cool because I don't have to get out of my chair. I can just yell to it to stop. So pretty lazy. But anyways, whenever I switch my cursor to an I-beam, you guys can see that the cursor is now a blinking I-beam in. I don't know, I'm just a little bit more comfortable with that than that big blocky looking cursor. Now another thing I want to do is I just want to change the default font. And this is just so it's a little bit easier to see in my video. So let me select this. Alright, that'll be pretty good. So I'm going to close this. Looking good. So hopefully you guys can see that on YouTube. If it's too small, then I'll bump it up again. Just let me know. All right. So I didn't even type anything in. I'm already confused because I don't know what all of these weird symbols mean. Well, I'll explain this real quick. The format of this little syntax right here is first, it's the username. So remember, I am logged in as Bucky. So that's why it says Bucky. Now, after the username comes an at sign, and after this is your host. In other words, it's just the name of your computer and mine is Ubuntu. Now after this is the path. Now this little squiggly, this means my home directory. So if you ever want to see um, more information about what directory you are currently in right now, you can just press PWD and hit enter. This means print working directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate through our computer 
just like here let me show you so basically you know with Windows what you can do is you can navigate with this little it's called Windows Explorer go to your downloads and then maybe go to your desktop and everything is visual well that's essentially all we're gonna do but we are doing it through our command prompt Ugh, got like a thing in my throat alright so right now we are in home slash Bucky and for this demo it might actually be a little bit better if you guys can see what's visually going on so I'm gonna create a sample file right on my desktop so I'm gonna hit right and I'll just hit new document empty document and I'll just name this uh, I'll just name it like story so story and hit enter now let me double click this and I'm just gonna add some text to it again you guys don't need to do this if you want but I just want a sample file so I can like edit it delete it show you guys all the simple commands so I'll just write like uh my name is Bucky and I love pizza so if I just hit save alright so we now have a file so let's hop back into the terminal and let's uh, let me show you guys how to just read the contents of that file first so anytime you want to display the contents of a file if you hit CAT it allows you to do that so now you have to write what file are you trying to read well it's on my desktop and the file name is story so pretty much the path to that file now hit enter and check it out it says my name is Bucky and I love pizza well how did I know that this desktop slash story was the proper path and it wasn't home slash Bucky slash desktop slash story well I kinda jumped ahead but now I'm gonna show you guys how what the heck is going on hold on my antivirus thing is popping up on my host computer alright any hoots alright so we already know if we want to find out what directory we are currently in you hit PWD so we're in Bucky right now now if I ever want to know all the files that are inside Bucky I can just hit LS so this lists all the files and directories that are inside Bucky so from here I can go into my desktop downloads music all that fun stuff now there's also some other commands that you can do and one of them is LS minus L now this minus L option I'll show you guys what this does it gives you more details about these directories so for example desktop and I'll show you guys what all these um, permissions and other stuff means later on but if you ever want more information or detailed list of all the contents then use minus L another thing that you can do is LS minus A now this minus A parameter you know in Windows you have hidden um, folders or hidden directories that's what this minus A does it shows you not only the regular folders and files but also the hidden ones and in Linux hidden files are sometimes called dot files now usually like this one right here dot config dot cache um, dot local these are all the files that are usually hidden to a user now as I was saying you typically don't want to edit these files because they're hidden for a reason they're usually configuration files or they're needed by some other program and uh, they're just the settings so don't edit any configuration or dot file unless you really need to and you see how my screens getting kinda of messy right now kinda of, you know there's just a lot of text on it if you just type clear and hit enter then it's just gonna give you a nice blank screen and you don't have to close out and open your terminal again now the last thing I want to show you guys in this video is one other command so if I ever want to list the files then I go to LS that's gonna list all the files and we already learned about L which is the detailed version and an A which gives you the hidden files as well you can also combine them into LA so LS space minus LA so what this does is it gives you the best of both worlds and not only shows all of the hidden files but also the details of each so that's how you find out what directory you are currently in how you display the contents of a file and also how to view all of the files and folders in whatever directory you are currently in so there you go if it sounds kinda overwhelming right now I promise 
just stick with it. It's going to become natural after like, um, I don't know, probably like two more tutorials. All these commands are going to come second nature. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next video.